Hey plant gang, this is the weeping willow, Salix babylonica. You can see it's got these long kind of a strappy branches. And this is a pretty small specimen for a, such a fast growing tree. This is a young one that I'm standing in front of. Uh, but look at the growth on this thing. Uh, let me see if I can find it, but really, uh, here, about right here, I'm looking at just this current season's growth. And so this is a fast growing uh, tree uh, that is used in particular in wet situations uh, to, uh, to fill in an area, in particular uh, when you need a fast growing tree. Uh, for that case, it is a little bit weak wooded and you do need to be aware of it. Uh, back side of the leaves, kind of glaucous gray, dark green above, long strappy leaves. Uh, but these pendulous branches are one thing that are really going to clue you in that you might be looking at a weeping willow. Salix babylonica, the weeping willow. Uh, this is a plant that's actually native to northern China. It's hardy from zone 6 through 8. Gets 30 to 50 foot high and just as uh, wide as it does get tall. Uh, the plant is known for these big, long, uh, pendulous branches, of course. Uh, which really do uh, give it, you know, this kind of lazy appearance in the landscape, uh, but also great texture in the landscape. Uh, you can see this reflecting off of the water next to a pond. It uh, would be, be beautifully planted there. Uh, great texture, great form, uh, and a plant that uh, in the right situation you should consider. So when you're looking closely at the leaves too, alternate leaf arrangement, as you look closely at the bark, uh, this is a lighter colored bark that seems to uh, furrow even uh, with younger trees. Almost a, a light tannish color to the bark with maybe some cinnamon undertones. Uh, weeping willows are susceptible to numerous disease problems including powdery mildew, different blights, leaf spots, cankers, these sorts of things uh, that you really do need to be aware of. Uh, as we look at this plant late in the season, uh, I'm seeing quite a bit of different leaf spots on this plant. Here's a landscape tip. Weeping form of this tree is quite beautiful when it is planted in the appropriate setting. 